this is our book. It's named Bob the Pigeon by us. Bob is a pigeon. He visits our, our window for vacation. Bob also has an umbrella. Hello friends, I wanted to show you that uh, I worked on a project with my son and we made our own book. At the end of this video, I'll show you the video of him reading it. Basically, we just used a simple word processing application. It's pages on the iMac, or I'm sorry, this is not the iMac, this is the MacBook Air. You could also use Google Documents, which is free online, but basically I just did did it so that we write a story out first with paper and pencil and then each sentence would be at the bottom of the page and we use construction paper and glue scissors to make the pictures ourselves so basically i wanted to show you how i did it now what you need to do is um, just open up a word document a new one is totally fine um, for me let's see here i'll just use a blank one now you can use a um, portrait one, which is a taller one, or you could do a landscape one, which is the wider ones. So in this case, I'll just use a landscape one. And then once you open it, um, I make the title page. So you could type anything you'd like. So for instance, um, how to make, a, let's see, how to make a book with your child. And then what I did was I wanted the title of this to be very big and you can choose any font that you like, obviously. So I, you know, I, I really like this typewriter one and you could raise the font to whatever you like according to how long your title is. So I'll just put in 100 and see how that looks. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then you could also put at the, at the bottom, you know, by Annie. I'm Annie, by the way, and you can find me everywhere at Annie Gurumi. And um, I feel like this one is a little bit too big, so I might bring it down to size 80 maybe. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You could also make it even smaller if you like. And I have this thing right here, if you can see the arrow. This means that it's going to push just to the right-hand side, so I, I like it like that. And then when you write the story, you just go on to the next page and you make sure you leave room. This means that it's a page after, so I usually just go back one. And I make the font something more normal, like 30 maybe. And you can write your story here. Here is your first page. So you could either do it so that it's centered, or you could do it to the left, do it to the right. It's completely up to you. And Basically, you just keep doing this for however many pages you want. You print out the pages, and then you can construct it, draw it, whatever you like, and it's really fun. So um, without further waiting, here is the video of us reading our this book. This is our book. It's named Bob the Pigeon by us. Bob is a pigeon. He visits our, our window for vacation. Bob also has an umbrella. He also has a little red hat. Bob waddles as he pecks at our window. Not nice, Bob. <laughs> Mommy says, shoo, shoo, but Bob did go. But did Bob go away? Choo hoo! No, his yellow umbrella and his little red hat stayed with him by our window. Bob visits other people's homes too. Okay, you and Bob must be friends. The end.